Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Critical Commentary. I'm Taylor, and today we're going to be doing a reaction to the new Venom 2 Let There Be Carnage trailer. If you were to ask me what my favorite superpowers would be, I would probably give you something more along the lines of X-Men. But for some reason, if you were to ask me who's my favorite superhero, I mean, I have a lot, but I always have to say that Spider-Man is just like always on my team. When I play the Marvel versus Capcom game, Spider-Man is always on my team. Something about Spider-Man has just always really stuck out to me because anyone can be Spider-Man. It's more about this like leap of faith and believing in yourself. And there's just something about that that is just always struck a chord with me. Now I know what you're gonna say. This is not technically Marvel, so hold your horses. I'm very much aware. But we also know that there's a little bit of a quid pro quo going on with Marvel and Sony Pictures. So yes, while, you know, this is not going to be a part of um, the new Spider-Man Far From Home, you, you never know. It might turn into a little bit of a crossover. We might start seeing these characters appear in each other's works in the upcoming future. Okay, moving on to Venom. I saw the first Venom in theaters and immediately fell in love with it despite it pretty much getting crapped on by critics and I feel like also audiences. I, I wish it had gone with a rated R. I think that Venom does better in a rated R capacity especially with the fact that Venom wants to eat people. It would be nicer if we could see a little bit more gore. Because they're sticking with a more family-oriented rating, I think that it makes it a little bit easier for them to do that more transferable aspect of the storytelling. Um, but I also feel like with What If coming out in the next week or two, they're probably going to be pushing the limits in regards to what we're going to be seeing in relation to gore. So I'm curious to know why they're staying with the PG-13 film, but I honestly am still going to be excited to see it. I'll shut up and let's uh, check this baby out. All I ever wanted in this world Carnage. Lady, we should be out there snacking on bad guys. <laughs> I am a predator. I need to be free. You have got to get control of your aggression, or you will get hauled off into Area 51. You live in my body, you live by my rules. I'm sorry! I don't know what came over me, please. Let me fix it. So I can bring it again. Oh. oh my gosh. I love the tone change from the first trailer to this one. I want to give you my story. People love serial killers. Do they? Why me? What's mine is yours. And what's yours is mine. What the world? I have tasted blood before, and that is not it. Oh my god, is that how he gets carnage? Oh my god. All I ever wanted in this world is carnage. Crazy man. Why are you vengeful? Oh shit! Whoa, where are you going? That is a red one! You need to come out right now. <laughs> That's a red one! I promise! I promise! Oh yeah! <laughs> oh my gosh. I love that one. Ooh. Like family. Oh, wow. You could just say, I'm happy for you. That was going to be us. I am happy for you. 
No! Oh! God, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Oh! I'm some serious couples counseling. Oh my god! <laughs> I thought they were gonna be like, I thought he was gonna be so nice about it, and he just like punched him in the face. Okay. Wow. So I forgot to say when we first uh, started this video that this was technically trailer number two. Trailer number one was just like a whole different vibe in regards of like tone. It was a lot more upbeat, a lot more funny. This was exactly what I was kind of looking for. Like what I was trying to say earlier. I think that Venom just does better with darker storytelling. And I got to tell you, like everybody looks super, super good. Woody Harrelson as Cletus Cassidy looks amazing. He's creepy. He's kind of like, I feel like he might get somewhat thanos -y in that I could see us starting to empathize with maybe his storyline. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if they give us kind of a, a full, like, origin story of how he became a serial killer. Um, I am curious to know, because I saw that Naomi Harris is playing Shriek. You know, she's a... Uh, adversary to Spider-Man but also she's Cletus Cassidy's girlfriend or lover and I'm curious to know um, if she's going to already be dating Cletus at this point I know I'm trying to remember the first trailer I feel like there was already a hint that they were dating in the beginning but I'm also not sure so if I'm wrong please let me know down in the comments below but honestly, yeah, like I think this is going to look super good. I think that it's going to be fun. It's going to be a little bit funny still. Like I, I hope we don't lose that humor between Eddie Brock and Venom because it's such a cute, like odd couple style. And I think that's also why they played the, what is it? Uh, One is the loneliest number as the, you know, music underneath. So yeah, I'm honestly really excited to see this. I know I keep saying that, but I'm just like, I loved Venom 1. So I'm really putting a lot of my uh, faith in Sony Pictures to give me a really good sequel because... Honestly, I would love to see a lot of the characters from the Sony movies transfer into the MCU. Maybe not all the time, but even if it was just like one or two movies, that would be kind of cool. And I, I would love to see like Venom team up with Spider-Man because I love their little collaborations. So, yeah, I, don't, I have nothing else to say. What do you guys think? <laughs> So what do you think about the trailer? Are you excited? Are you just like bursting with full on dorky love like I am about this movie coming out? Let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at criticalcom with two M's TV. And please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video here on Critical Commentary. Bye guys.